Hello everybody and welcome to a quick look around the exterior and hull in close-up of this 1980 Westerly Consort. So as you can see she's here, she's alongside Starboard Tide 2 and her first impressions are, you know, she, she's a bit shabby on the outside. You can see we've got to, lots of weed under here. I mean most of that will blast off with the pressure washer anyway. Um, but uh, if we just keep going look around we can see we've got uh, tow rails with lichen on them etc. So they need a bit of renovation. And if you get in closer we can see some of the, uh, the textured deck paint could do with uh, rubbing back and being reapplied in uh, in a fair few places and that's not actually that uh, that much of a job if we swing around the uh, around the fore deck you can see let's get down to hull level again we can get a little bit closer into the tow rails and rubbing strakes there we've got uh, what i think are probably vinyl strips on here which have taken a bit of wear as we get down towards the midship section of the boat and again there you can see where the, the hull looks um, pretty sound I mean I don't see any big cracks or dents or in it or anything but it does look a bit dull so I think a nice polish would really bring out the best in this boat. As we move aft along the starboard side you can see one or two little scrapes there's a bit of a few areas of uh, fender rub along here and uh, where the uh, this may be paint actually where it's rubbed away there um, but um, generally speaking looks uh, in, a, in a structural way uh, pretty good to me again we've got the the lichen growth uh, down here but uh, once cleaned up that could look absolutely uh, lovely so we're coming along the starboard side a bit more fender rub here and uh, making our way down to the stern of this 1980 westerly consort so uh, if you'd like any more information about this boat just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures videos and virtual reality content thanks for watching